All right, welcome. First draft of the format. Let's go. And we opened a good one. Actually, we opened two. Um, outrageous robbery is pretty outrageous, though, right? Instant speed. Steal X cards from your opponent and you can cast them. As long as they remained exile. Oh, you can play them, so you can do lands as well. That's pretty good. You can spend mana in any color, so it doesn't matter what you take. Sharp-Eyed Rookie is also in the pack. It's a, a pretty good 2-drop, but I want to try out Robbery instead. This rare is bad, isn't it? Yeah. I really hate that card, I think. So... Inside Source? <laughs> There's no black card I want to take. We could take Escape Tunnel as well, but I think Inside Source is just good enough to not take the Escape Tunnel. So let's take inside source. One spell, two bodies is always good. High alert. This is from the list. Yeah, I don't think that's very good. You could go in the three color with a killer among us, but I don't really want to do that. I could just take the tracker. I think it's pretty bad though. Same with the automation. Eliminate the impossible is also going into the third color really early. Same with Helion. Just take the land. It's probably the safest pick. Granite Witness is very good. You could play it as white. We could just take the case over the Granite Witness. This is one of my favorite cases. I think I'm going to take the case since it's uncommon. Tracker. We do have the red white land, or we could take inside source. I think tracker is very, very good as a two drop. But I don't know if it's good enough of justifying going into red. Inside source is just so good. You know? But if I'm taking a white card to be safe, maybe I should take the binding just for removal. <laughs> binding over inside source? Uh, I think so. Just to be safe. It's our first draft, let's be safe. Case of the Gateway Express is okay. Another makeshift binding is probably better than case. There's also the case file auditor. This can get cases and enchantments. So it works with makeshift binding. I think binding safer than the Gateway Express. I'm gonna take second binding. I think Gateway Express can be better, but if you don't have creatures on the board, it's a really bad draw. Wow, worms here. Uh, we're not gonna take the worm. Case of the uh, falcon's pretty great. So let's just a uh, case file auditor here, or we could take the vigilante, which I'm also super impressed with as a five mana four four that basically enters for five power when you count the one one counter going somewhere. But I think the Auditor, with how many uh, enchantments we have, makes more sense at the moment. Uh, we got Vigilante anyway. We could take the Escape Tunnel though, but I think maybe we won't need the fixing. Let's just take the Vigilante, stick to white. Don't really have a lot of creatures yet. There's a creature. Bubble Smuggler, I think, is better than Phantom, but Phantom's just good. And it's white, so. Kind of a no-brainer there. A lot of detectives. Double pick your poison. I don't even think I want one. I'm going to rare draft <laughs> this unplayable rare. Um, Eliminate the Impossible is real good, but there's an on-color on the job instead. I think I like that a little bit more. Let's just take the blue spell. All right. What is this? It's mythic. Intrude on the mind. Basically, draw two, make a three, three. Draw three, make a two, two. Museum Night Watch is really good though.
Man, this whole pack stacked actually the exit specialist, the archive land. I think the night watch is the best of all of them, but I kind of want to try out this card. I think it's a good card. So deadly cover up. We didn't see any black after we took outrageous robbery. So it's a bit risky. I think private eye might be safer and we just ditch into blue white detectives. Could consider the board wipe though, but I think private eye is good enough to try and maybe go more aggressive here. Thraven Inspector, I mean Novice Inspector, same thing. It's probably really good in our deck. Let's take it. Actually. What's this fairy snoop down here do? That's okay, but it's too slow. I think I think the inspector is the right take over it. I'm probably playing black or blue or both, but white's just safer still. Okay, now we get a night watch. Yeah, I think it's the best card in the pack, too. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think this case is very good. The wrench is okay. We could do it doesn't add up just to kind of be safe and have some good plays in black and some good plays in blue in case, or we could just stay safe and take the binding. I'm going to stay safe and take the binding. Consultant or dog watcher. Uh, Dog Watcher would always be a face down card for us, but I think it still is better. I mean, now I could take some black. I'm not really interested in the blue cards here. I'm not interested in the red card. Um, let's just take some filler three drop black cards. This is okay. I'm sure it'll trade out. I mean, same here. There's no white to take or good blue, so probably just take another black card. Hmm. All of these last picks have been kind of disappointing. Stalker safe, maybe. Could always just play Esper. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Have more black cards than blue. It doesn't look terrible without the blue as well if it doesn't work out. Let's take a safe two drop that's colorless since we are getting messy and we need a few earlier plays as well. Pass. <laughs> I mean, Crocodelf or Helion. I guess the Helion's slightly better. Probably neither will make the deck. Bite down's fine in case we play green. Okay, so now we have some hedges towards blue, some hedges towards black, some hedges towards green. We're definitely playing white. Um, yeah, just really two cards in blue worth playing at the moment. It doesn't add up. Being last card is pretty nuts. Okay, that's good. Granite Witness here, but the Gatekeeper is unbelievably good. The instant speed removal is just so good on it. I do have red fixing. I mean, I've got a good deck no matter what I do here. I don't think I can screw it up. Everything is pretty medium. We could take the land or I could take the drone smith. And if we get any re really good red payouts, we could go into Mardu maybe and play red like that. Cut that. Like that, that would be a fine Mardu deck. Weird draft. I mean, another novice inspector is great. I could take the case that fixes, or the file auditor as well, since it fetches so many things, but I think just a second inspector is great. That kind of makes blue more tempting. I wonder if blue is better than black here. 
or better than red. I guess we could still play dog walker. I don't know. Two novice inspectors with a, uh, a private eye is pretty great. And then we get thrown this curveball. Wow. I mean, green is the splash on that. If I played it, we'd have to play black or blue, not both. But we would get bite down on crime. We could play the Helion. We definitely wouldn't be playing red at that point. Yeah, let's take it. See where it goes. Laid to rest is here. I didn't realize that was on the list. Um, hard hitting questions, very good. Removal for green. Laid to rest is not so great. I think just another phantom's fine. We don't need a second case. I think I actually just want removal. Like, not on my watch isn't my favorite removal, but it's removal. Red's not going to work out. We don't have any payouts. I'm with two picks left, I don't think it's going to be worth it. The Night Watch is great. I think it's better than Guardian in our deck, but I think Guardian's also just really good. But Night Watch in our deck is better than the Guardian. We don't have tons of small creatures, so let's take the Night Watch. Yeah, we'll play that. So Abzan? I mean, how are we looking as like green-white? Pretty good. I mean, most of these black cards wouldn't make the cut anyway. Granite Witness, Wield, that must be a sign here. I mean, obviously it's a late sign, but like, I'm gonna play it no matter what. Another Phantom, probably? Hmm. Case File, Wield, that's fine. I'm wondering if we're gonna play blue. I guess green's safer. Um, so with the Granite Witness, I think our blue all of a sudden is pretty on par with our black. But let's first build the Abzan build and see what it would look like. I don't think I would run this even if I was playing green. It's very medium. That's a three drop. Hmm. I don't think the meddler's great in our deck. I mean, the curve route looks okay in Abzan. Probably just get rid of one of these big morphs. But then I just have two black cards. And that's it. And they're both double black. Bite down on crime would go. Alibi would go. Two black and two green cards. Just base white. I don't know. It's very possible our blue's better with private eye. Let's see what that looks like. So we'd have Private Eye. We'd play Intrude the Mind. Get rid of all the black. Bring in some blue. I need to change my lands real quick. There they are. Magic of editing. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, I mean, definitely running 17. I think I will run the tap land just for the surveil. This is cleaner than the black because the blue helps the witness be better. 
It also helps all of our two drops be better, right? The private eye is just really good with novice inspector and phantoms and all that. And with our case as well. I think this is better than the black. So we just have one cut, maybe the case file auditor. Looks okay. It's not a terrible first deck. We made it. We got there in the end. <laughs> uh, yeah, 16 creatures, some removal. Should do okay. It's a playable start hand. Two drop, three drop, go. I'll lead on the case now that we drew it. Get that value online, and our OP is going slow anyway. A face down card. Let's lead on the file auditor. Nothing. <laughs> okay. We have a lot of hits for it. I, I'm kind of surprised we didn't get a single uh, one of our makeshift bindings. I was kind of unlucky, I think. It's a little annoying. Well, there's one. Okay. One extra card deep. Um, I, mean, I could just do this. Or I could just play it slower and do inside source first. There's no rush. Glad we held off on the binding. They get one clue off of it, but that's not too big a deal. It's a good draw. Hmm. I guess I want to do that and hold it open as a surprise. I think they're holding open airtight alibi. Otherwise, they would have cracked their clue, right? They're holding up a bounce or something. There's some sort of trick. If they crack this clue, I'm doing it. I mean, they, there's the flight one that blows me out, but then it's out of their hand and I can binding next turn, so this just makes a ton of sense. So, hope it's not the flight one. Good, it resolved. Okay. The Granite Witness. They get to tap a creature. This background has a lot of stuff going on. Lots of lights flashing and stuff. <laughs> Not particularly a fan of background light flashing randomly. Okay, I mean they held o open again. <laughs> um, I think what's best 
is for me to attack in. I'm going to attack in and try and fish airtight alibi out of their hand so I can blow them out with the, the binding the following turn. Or not on my watch, either way. It's got to be it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Out of their hand. Now I don't have to worry about it. Um... We'll be able to do not on my watch next turn when they attack him with their vigilant creature that's flying, because why wouldn't they? Unbelievable. No hits again. <laughs> Worst case file auditor ever. Zero points. <laughs> it's a very medium card. Had the gadgeteer. One card left in hand. Uh, I'm gonna go for the exile. And if it doesn't work, then we'll binding next turn and we'll be fine. Okay. One card left in hand. They didn't play it. Does that mean it's a land? Uh, yeah, we can do this. Two mana, four, four. And I think I'm supposed to just try and trade. Like maybe I just give vigilance to my three, six and force them to trade or take five. Just be patient. Seems right. I think it could attack one with the 4-4, uh, four, four, but then they just have a good block on it. Just go like this. But do they have like doppelganger or something? They're gonna like blow us out. They didn't play it. Okay. Do I get aggressive? I think I should. Take away all their good double blocks. If they drop like an incredible bomb next turn, I'll just cry, but seems good enough. <laughs> Go ahead and give Vigilance here. And swing out except for with the Private Eye, I think. Wow. It's a lot of damage. Let's surveil. It's a good thing we surveilled. <laughs> I know not want another planes. Okay. Slow, but okay, I guess. The rope. Good draw. Needed something to do on turn two. Thank you, game. That's when it gets flipped face up as well. But I think I should lead on the dog walker over the witness since they have red and they might have shock. Ok, 
Okay. I'm going to swing in. Fantastic. Let's uh, make two on ones. Okay. That's a safer blocker. But I guess I don't mind if Nightwatch trades. I could just do Witness as well. Can't binding because of the ward. Let's try and get some. Well, ugh. No, let's be mana efficient. Just run it out. I actually think this card I prefer to play out as a four drop over disguising it. Um, just because you're guaranteed to get the value that way, right? Equip and pass. Well, in that case, I think I should just binding and swing. Got a big creature off of it. We get to try this card, don't we? It's instant speed, so I can do it during their turn. I mean, they have nothing on board. It's a perfect time to take a turn off and get some card advantage. I think we should do that. Yeah, it's instant speed. Okay, I'm gonna do it at the end of their turn so that they don't know what's coming. And we're basically gonna make a Thopter and draw some cards. That's fine, we can, uh, binding that after we draw our cards and stuff for next turn. Sure, they'll gain six, that's the most annoying part of it. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I need to make two piles, and they put one in my hand, and then I make a Thopter with 1-1 one -one counters equal to the cards they don't put in my hand. So do I want the bigger Thopter or not is really the question. Um, put Gatekeeper here, and not on my watch, or Binding? We can do it like that. So if they give me fewer cards, they're the better cards? I mean, Night Watch isn't bad either. I don't know, maybe we should do that. Hmm. I think I'm okay with that. My guess is they'll give us three cards. I want the land, so. Perfect. Okay. It's decent too. Uh, let's start with binding. Swing out. I guess we can play the face down card, doesn't matter. Uh, if they only play one creature like they have been, uh, mono big stuff, right? I can just tap it down with my witness. Their first removal spell, right? I think that's their first removal spell. Another big face down card. <laughs> oh, it's a small one. Oh dear. Blue. Uh, they're definitely playing doppelgang. Okay. Whew, okay. Good hand. There we go. Okay, I guess we'll just uh, crack our clue at the end of 
our opponent's turn here. Okay. Um, I'll just swing in first. I like leading with Dog Walker here. See if we can draw out some removal. Okay. Yeah, I think we just attack because Dog Walker will trade. I guess I can just play out a creature now. Let's do the uh, File Auditor and hopefully hit an enchantment, or I guess we could do the inside source, makes sense too. Do the auditor next turn. The tunnel tipster. And you didn't play out the gardener face down, interesting. Okay, um... What do I want to do? I guess just attack him with the dog walker and see what happens, yeah? Yeah, I think that's best. Okay, I'm not going to flip it in that case. Let's do the file auditor. Okay, we got a hit this time. That's nice. And it now can be cast for any color, so we can cast it out and it'll flip this turn as well. All those lands and those are my green lands. Oh no, I only have three green lands in my deck and uh, two of them just went to the bottom. Tulsimir is going to die in my hand. That was pretty tragic. I mean, I'm glad I didn't have to draw six lands, but at the same time, I kind of needed that green land. All right. Um, this card's a problem. So I can either let it kill my whole board or kill two creatures and then I makeshift binding it using collect evidence for... I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I need my 1 4 to block and my 2 2. I mean, I pretty much just got a 3 for 1. Card's incredible. Uh, let's get rid of it. <laughs> what a problem. can't flip my dog walker. I guess I'm going to disguise this. It's a risk, but like if I want to be mana efficient anytime soon, I need to do that. A green or a white source off the top would be extremely helpful here. <laughs> That's fine. All right. Um, they've been pretty tentative about blocking, so I think what I'm going to do is just attack in with both and see how they block. Oh. Yeah, see? No blocks. Okay, so let's do the Night Watch, so then we can play out the Phantom, I think is best. Strange game. White appears. I mean, maybe that was the problem. I 
Like I said, Tulsimir's gonna die a slow death in our hand now that we know our forests are on the bottom. Except for one. We have one more forest we could hit. Double face down cards is terrifying. Okay, that's a good draw. Because we can do both now. We can transform Dog Walker and play out our Warden. So let's do that pre combat because I feel like it. Kind of psych them out here, hopefully. Uh, and also get a trigger on our phantom. Uh, yeah. Let's move to attacks. Just the three, I think. So we don't lose on the back crack. If they get another white source and then they have on the job or something, we're just like in a bad spot. So let's hope they don't have that card. Okay, let's get our dogs. That's not it. Okay, that's a pretty good card. So, they're very wide at the moment. It's a little concerning. Wow! <laughs> we did it! Oh, come to the party! Uh, and I got to draw a card too. I guess I'll do that. Fantastic. Uh... I mean, our two three threes have to be blocked and they trade. I don't think that's bad. It's fine. Kind of want to slim down their board before they do get a board pump or, you know, they do something crazy with their morphs. Also, it just... Thins it down for our 5-5 trample next turn, which is great. It's fine. Fine too. Okay. Don't hurt me. I've got two puppies. I can chump block you. <laughs> uh, that's a good sign that they're cracking the clue. It means they don't like what they have. Another face down card, huh? They were willing to tap out for that? I mean, I think we just go super aggro here and force a bunch of trades. We can binding their tipster. And then they have to like triple block the wolf for it to even be okay. Private Eye pumping up the board, except for the puppies, of course. Um, yeah, and I, I don't even think I care if they eat my tutu. Face down card, or do I care? Maybe I do care. Block, block. Block. Block, yeah. I could still eat my face down card. And my puppies. I 
This is fine, I guess. <sighs> Did I miss lethal? <laughs> I'm like <laughs> sitting here redoing the math now. I think I missed lethal. Concerned. I mean, they're still very dead next turn unless they have a board wipe here. Which they do not have the mana for at the moment, so. Pretty sure they're just dead. GG. It's a good start hand. Our opponent's going to be terrified we're playing Niv Mazette because we're going to be dropping four different colors by turn three. <laughs> That's a lead on our tap land. Mm, it's good, but I want land. So I think I'm going to ditch it. Try and find land. Okay. Guess I'll lead on Phantom. Face down card. Okay. Um I mean, I guess I'll give it flying. <laughs> really uh, awkward hand for me. No blocks. Planes off the top would be absolutely amazing here. Okay, they're three color as well. Really need a planes. Um, hmm. Guess we just move to combat. See if they block or not. Okay. I guess it's fine. Um, I guess we want a face down creature. I'm not really going to block with either of those. Maybe I just hold open the removal and play the case out. Uh, I can't do that though. Oops. I don't have another planes to play my removal. <laughs> oh, new formats. So fun. I'm still not sure if I missed lethal in that last game or not. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, there's the planes. That's good. That's, uh, that's helpful. Well, I guess now we have to do this, right? And then flip it and eat their 5 5. Yeah, I gotta stay back, don't I? Uh, I guess it's safe. We can always eat a blocker if we want. They're not going to trade. I mean, they'll trade with the 2-2, two -two, but not the 3-2. There you go. I don't think that was perfectly played, but whatever. <laughs> I 
It is the first day. I guess I should have waited for their attack phase to do that. I don't know. Probably should have just stayed back. That's fine. We're not quite dead yet, but pretty close. Ah, uh, that wrecks us. Oh, we needed that to be a 2-5. And we needed to go search our library. That's absolutely insane. Who plays that card anyway? Ah. <laughs> uh. This is so bad. We have to hope they flip their 2-2 two -two so we can kill it. They didn't. We're just dead. <laughs> I think I could have played this better, but... Yeah. I mean, that won't even get 1-1 one -one counters on it. Uh, bother. That's, that's GG. That is GG. Yep, they have four in the air. Good game. Man. That one two wrecked us. I think if they didn't have that there was a chance, but I also think I had some misplays. This hand looks good though. Lead on the case. Kinda need some creatures here. <laughs> And it's not doing too much, and they're missing lands. So that's unfortunate. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll play a face down card. There's no sorry button. I wish I could say, like, sorry just to start with, you know? 1 3. Okay. I don't really want to eat that. I don't want to use any of my removal on it either. I mean, I guess I'll just chill, right? Double red, okay. That's fine. Not exactly the target I was hoping for, but I think it's good enough just for mana efficiency reasons. Let's get rid of the menace or the researcher? Probably the researcher. Private eye was good. Let's do that. I guess we don't need to swing in. We can block person of interest if we want. Uh, they could have a trick here, but we have a trick of our own. So we're going to hold that open. Uh, there's several ways they could blow us out here, but I think... I think I'm okay with that. They kill my private eye, am I okay with that? I think I am. Let's go here. Yep. 
perfect draw. I was just about to say we need a creature. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Let's play at our land. I don't think they're playing black. The gadget technician is quite good. Um, I could binding it or I could just trade for it. Let's offer a trade. I think I want the clue. I mean, it's kind of aggressive using it to get a clue, but pushing two extra damage, getting one clue seems okay here when I need more action like inside source. Good hits. Okay. Let's do both. Now I wish we had our board pump. <laughs> uh, such is life. It's okay. We wouldn't have uh, the second night watch if we didn't use our board pump. Fine, I think. Hmm. Land. Uh, well, I guess we just swing out. The only way this really hurts is if they have like a, the ill-timed explosion board wipe. So, it's a way of getting rid of the creature I'm about to make, plus the creatures there on board. The fact that they're thinking about the gadget technician blocking versus not doing it makes me think that maybe they don't have it. So that's the good news. We're gonna make two three threes here. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. As in, like, bad for us. It's a good card. Got some good hits for it. I guess I'll just... Binding it now, yeah? Um. Why can't I target it? Oh my gosh. Excel's hard creature. Uh, uh, what a punt. That was terrible. Okay. Now I know you can't do vehicles. Cool. <laughs> that was terrible. That might have lost us the game right there. Like, I feel so far ahead, but that was huge punt. For some reason, I thought I could use binding on uh, a vehicle. Ah, that was a mistake. <sighs> Can't believe I'm binding detectives. That's awful. Hmm. 
the right way to do it would have been if I had known it had to be a creature, I would have attacked in. They got to eat a 3 3, and then I would binding the vehicle after they ate the 3 3. card. I like the 5-5. Five five. It's big in the format and only costs 5 mana. So, it's quite good. Brick. Okay. Well, not good. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else to say except for not good. These lands are cool though, yeah? Look at these lands. Very cool. Yep. That'll, that'll pretty much seal the deal. Because now they can collect evidence to animate. I uh, use Galvanize on one of the 3-3s three and then everything else is just a chump, so I'm taking 10 here, and then I lose next turn pretty much. <sighs> I don't think I would have been in a great spot had I gotten rid of the vehicle, because I would have two 3-3s three three, so I could double block the 5-5, five five. I'd still be taking 5 here. Or I'd be taking four here, I guess, from the other three three. I guess it would be more stable. Yeah. Well, next time I will read the card when it's a new format. <laughs> Painful misery. Now they get more cards. Cool. I guess we'll make it a secret because we can. <sighs> I mean, there's no reason to play out the land. We're just dead here. Right? Because that becomes a 5-5. Five five. I mean, I guess we're not dead dead, but I'm pretty sure we're dead. Very close. Let's see what they get. Oh good. Shock to face, crime stopper, taps down my creature so I can't block and then they win. <laughs> uh, G G O P. I'll let them play it out. At least they made that quick. <laughs> uh, they'll collect evidence, they'll swing in with all and they have it. Or I guess they'll just crew normal. Well that was a, a beating. Uh, I don't know if playing the binding correctly would have saved us there. I think drawing two lands in a row was really painful. I don't know. Alright, we can't lose another. Back against the wall here in my first draft. Let's get a better hand and this is certainly better. Guess we don't need on the job. Let's keep the creatures. Do the inspector. Uh-oh. 
Running out your exit specialist is not a good sign for me. Uh, I do not have a turn to play, so I will crack my clue at the end of their turn. Okay. Good deal. Options. Okay. Um... I suppose dog walker is okay here. I guess it's worth the trade. Another technician. Got it. I don't get my dog value, but I also didn't take three that turn. <laughs> Let's go here, and then another face down card. Um, I'm thinking... Maybe the gatekeeper is better face down. Actually, on second thought, there's no rush. I'm gonna try and crack my clue and get card advantage here. Faith Light is fine. We can binding the 3-1. fine. Bet it's another technician. <laughs> That's a good draw. Okay. Unfortunately, I think I do need to binding the specialist instead of playing out the private eye. Still looking for lands. Painfully not getting them. But... I think that card's another technician. I can double block it with the inspector, and if I binding the three one, I just take one next turn. That seems okay. I think. If that's not a technician, we're really up a creek, but it can't be Bubble Smuggler. It could be the red thing that's big, I think. Okay, it's a technician. Great. Perfect. Confirmed. <laughs> I bet you that's another technician as well. <laughs> Our OP is on mono technician. I'm going to get this online and do the Phantom. It's just too much value. Still looking for that land. Oh, it's an exit specialist! I'll trade. They got me. Reckless Detective. I actually really don't want them to have that card. Um, mainly because if they flood it out over there, it allows them to keep looting. I think I should stop the looting. Nah, let's just do private eye. I think the looting's annoying, but they could drop like a dragon, so I think I'm gonna save my binding one more turn, but I might binding it next turn. It's such a mind game of, you know, how long can you wait on your removal? How many trades can you make without having to, uh, actually use your removal. 244 four seems really good though. Oh, that's a good card, okay. Um, I, 
think I need to take keeper of the equipment or else I'm just gonna take a beating. Gatekeeper of the equipment and race. Is that what I'm doing? I don't think that's bad. You're gonna think this is dog walker. Yeah, I mean, if we're racing, let's go. Some merit in taking this, but I think I will block and try and trade. And like I said, I think, uh, yeah, it's any permanent. I think the equipment's more of a threat to us than anything else. draw. Let's push. Yeah. Okay. A little unfortunate. I bet you it's another gadget technician. This person's a, a big fan of the card. There is a green source. Let's go. Yeah. I'm gonna slam this. I love that we got a clue off of the uh, making of the 5-5. Five five. It's the dog walker! Still doesn't trade though, that's good. They got me though. Thought it was another technician, but nope. It's dog walker this time. <laughs> uh, that's gonna get real old in this set. Technicians and dog walkers. Another green source, okay. So, we can make our phantoms fly, or we can just get a big creature. Are you serious? It was like the one way for us to get blown out. I mean, it's still a good attack. They can't kill us on the back crack, right? They have to block? Do they have to block? Yeah, I think they have to block, right? Hmm. Yeah, because if I give them flying pre-combat, ah, they can't get locked down. They can't lock down the wolf and the flyers at the same time. Brutal. They don't have it yet. It's a good sign.
Okay. What? <laughs> oh, that's just enough to keep them alive, isn't it? Oh man, they were... Oh, that's brutal. Okay. Land's not good. <laughs> double land's real bad. Are we gonna lose to double land again? Are we just dead? Four in the air. If I attack all, they have to block with four out of their five creatures or else they die. Everything's lethal. They'd have a three power creature left over with two one ones, so they'd put me down to one. Like I'm dead to shock. <laughs> I think I have to attack here. I think I'm dead if I don't attack. But I lose to a shock off the top from them. I mean, at least they're top decking, but... I can't say this feels good. We get life gain next turn, so it has to be this turn they get shock. Yeah, I'll keep that. Okay. It's a land. We did it. <laughs> oh, it's, that was so close. GG. This hand's great, I think. Case file gets removal. Inspector gets a clue. We get a perfect curve out. Perfect mana. Should be okay. At pre-release, there were so many games that I won when my life total was at one <laughs> or two. Like, all the games just seemed that close that they're just uh they're long and there's a lot of back and forth crazy games um i mean i guess we're cracking our clue i don't want to show them the other colors we're playing yet See what we get. Uh, okay. Those are cards. I still think I should go get removal, maybe. Larry Dog Walker. Start setting up for crowd control, Warden. Let's play it slower. I mean, am I crazy? I have four enchantments in my deck, right? And none were in my start hand. Six cards deep. On average, I should hit one, right? I'm looking at 24 cards, roughly. Shouldn't be zero for three, that's for sure, or zero for four. However many zeros we have. I think we're like one for four, one for five. Just been unlucky. I don't know what this person's doing, but it's interesting. Obviously, they're playing like a collect evidence deck of sorts. Um, they only have two cards in hand, though. I'm feeling really good about my spot. I guess I'm just going to play it slower since, I don't know, they have no pressure on the board. Inspector plus Dog Walker seems great.
We can hard cast the warden next turn if we really want to. Or we could spend more time setting up doing the dog walker plus face down witness. It's not any cheaper to uh, disguise it first, so at this point it just makes sense to hard cast that card. Chalk outline. Oh my gosh, are we going to see somebody go all in on collect evidence? I mean, I'm going to develop out my board. I think uh, face down plus dog walker or double phantom. That's better. I guess dog walker is better to hold open here. I mean, yeah. Should do it. Plus face down creature. We were gonna make what? Like a 10 10? No, it's more than that. Three, six, seven, yeah. Um, or we could do this. They're going to have a lot of detectives potentially start popping out. I don't want them to be able to rummage. We can get rid of their rummage, I think. Put out another creature. I mean, kind of like in a group pump waiting room, aren't I? Just waiting for on the job. Yeah. I hope they get rid of the rope. Now they're equipping. Okay. Okay. That was pretty good. Um, I still don't think chalk outlines that good of a card. Why can't I double block? What's going on here? Can't be blocked. The equipment's doing that. Huh. Okay. Well, that's kind of annoying. Um, I guess I'll take four. <laughs> uh, huh. Let's just do this. It's too good not to. 12-12. I don't think blue or green have too many weeds to deal with a 12-12. Now I am worried that they are playing the doppelgang card and they are getting very, very close to being able to do that twice. They're now one mana off. No, they have the mana for it. Okay. They didn't cast it. They don't have it. That's good. Uh, that's a good draw, too. Okay. So, let's do a face down creature first. And. 
No, nothing has reach, right? So I'm just going to go with this one and this one. They're going to be able to do the chalk outline with that card, and that's okay, I think. I'm going to crack the clue instead of play out my phantom. Fine. I have a lot of dig. That's big. Um, our cleric elephant guy can do instant speed eating if they want to put like a five blocker thing on our 12-12. So I kind of want to save that ability for when I attack him with the 12-12. I can also just tap it down for a turn now and then attack in. It's a good draw. Okay. Don't think I'm quite to the point of swinging out full. So, just these two. I was going to play out the wolf guy, but I actually think it's safer to probably hold open the interaction. So I'm going to just do the phantom. I missed two points of damage on my other phantom, unfortunately, by changing my mind. But this way we can hold open the interaction and hold open the clue activation. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> That's annoying. Being able to discard that to make a detective plus put a 1-1 one -one counter is pretty good. One card left in hand though. We've got an answer for whatever it is. <sighs> yeah. Make it 2-2. Two, two. Okay. I mean, their deck's <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Very synergistic. Pretty impressed. It's board state. <laughs> uh, okay. I think I'm going to put some blocks. 
somewhere. Make another 2 2. They're making this truck outline look really good, but I still don't think it's a very good card. But obviously, I mean, it's completely dominating this game. They'd be losing so badly if they didn't have it. I mean, if I don't block, do I win? Block five. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to get blown out either. I'm going to block like this on the 4-4. Four four. They eat one creature. And unfortunately, like, everything else is my wing con. Like, the flyers are my wing con. I guess I could chump with the dog. I don't even think that's necessary, though. So many clues. <laughs> I mean, obviously I need to reassess this chalk outline and how good it really is because, I mean, like I said, it's just, it's been incredible for them. This has been a real pleasure to just play against it, to see it in action, you know? So... Yeah, I mean, we leave open our interaction again. Like, Tolomir is just too expensive for what I want to do and what I want to hold open. Inside Source triggers double Phantom, though. Yeah, I think that's okay. So that's seven. It's still not lethal if I attack with all of it, right? That's fine. In fact, that might actually be good for us because it means that we can re-trigger the phantoms by playing it out as a 2-2. Because we have lethal in the air next turn with the warden being played out as a 2-2 instead of like a, a million a million. We'll keep the binding just in case. Yeah. Hold open the interaction still. I don't think they can kill me. Doppelgang would do it if they have that in their deck. <laughs> uh, let's hope they don't draw it. Oh, big blowout. All right, finally, a reason to do this. <laughs> they do get another detective, unfortunately. <laughs> and they get another loot. 
and it's all really annoying, but... I'd rather do that and keep my witness. <sighs> All right. Do I win? Can you kill multiple things or have reach? If they play a reach creature, we have the binding. If they don't play a reach creature and they remove one of my things, um, they have to remove two things. Yep. <laughs> so much loot. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <sighs> uh, I think we're gonna win this game, but I mean, I can see how this deck that this person's playing could actually be pretty good. I'm gonna chomp here in case they have trample. Or something silly to win out of nowhere. <laughs> um. I like that they tapped out for me though. That makes me feel a lot safer going for lethal here. Yeah, I mean, we just have it. Yep. What a game. It's a good start hand. Bindings are good. Oh no, they have shock. There was a pause. There it is. That's okay. Because we have dog walker. Right. Let's move to combat. Um, I'm not gonna transform because I'm gonna do face down gatekeeper plus novice inspector, I think. Instead. They have their own dog walker. Hmm. Um. I guess swinging in with my dog walker is right. I don't really want binding anything over there. Feels bad not playing anything this turn though. Okay. Now we'll do this and we'll pop the clue as well. I guess I should do this now in case I find land. Did not. Okay. Come on, forest. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, good thing we have, like, infinite removal for that card. And they're attacking with their puppies, and I get to eat both of them. Uh, yep. I'll do that. That was pretty incredible. I'm just gonna have to binding it right away. The good news is we get to swing in for quite a bit of damage here as well. And I did not draw land, so we're still missing lands, which is not great. I guess we could go like this and hold open 
blocking the detective. Oof. Oof. <laughs> they have a haste creature? I mean, at least we can block that, but I felt like that's unlucky. Uh, I guess, oh, there's the green source, but I think we should bite the bullet and exile the Aurelia instead of binding it. We can exile plus private eye. I mean, private eye doesn't pump anything else up, but I mean, at this point. I think I need to do this. I mean, this card makes more sense instead of the private eye, I think. Just slam it. I mean, I don't think there's a reason not to attack with the 2 2 at least. But given how much haste they have, I'm kind of wanting to hold back just a touch at 6 life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, good thing we have the binding and we have removal dot deck at the moment. And now we can force the 2-2 two, two, to chump our 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. I don't think they would have ran out their 6-6 six, six if they had a board wipe in hand, so I feel okay with uh, extending to the board a bit here. And I think that's just GG, right? I'll show them what this card is. Cool. All right. I think we are at six wins now and two losses. So this is for the trophy. Yeah. Just gotta win it. Is this a winning hand? I don't know. Tulsimir is so far from being cast, but the other cards are okay. Hey! This is the first time we- oh, I'm keeping that. Uh, this is the first time we have the Vigilante in our hand. <laughs> I gotta think we're playing a niv Mizet deck. <laughs> uh. Would really like another planes. Just saying. They ran out a three three. I think that's good for us. Uh how do I want to play it? Just dog walkers, fine. Uh, I mean, do I want to stay back and double block? I don't think so. Not with red. They have to have a murder or something. And if I double block, it's just asking to be blown up. I think it's better to race here. It's fine. 
Health removal, okay. I can't actually transform that guard. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna attack with it anyway. Good deal. This at least trades with the 3-3. Three, three. And then leaves me a 2-2. Two, two. Really need a planes. Okay, that could be worse. That's not bad. We're gonna trade anyway. Um... Should I be concerned about this card? I don't think so. Hmm. I mean, I don't think I'm double blocking, regardless of what I play here. I guess I should do Gatekeeper. One more creatures die, mill card. Turn the creature to your hand. Okay. They'll get the eliminator back. Okay, there's the planes. That's extremely helpful. I think I'm gonna play this and try and push one extra damage this turn and have a good single block on the uh, offender at large. that do again? Okay, so now I can't block the five. Um, that's pretty good too. Does that win? Three. Gotta be careful, I'm at seven. Um, if they have land that can technically kill something, but it's still one for one because they have to sack the at-large guy. If they don't block with the juggler, we just win on the spot. We can always exile in response and play a two mana play this turn instead. I think I should go with all of it, yeah. It's gonna get a 1-1 counter anyway. Yeah. I think that's right. Okay. Well, I either go down to two, or I let this happen. I think I'm going to let it happen. I don't know if that was right. I didn't feel safe going down to two because of shock in the format. But I also really hate that they have two suspect creatures. Um, I 
Yeah, I think I have to let that happen, right? Yeah, that's fine. There was the shock on top of the library. Okay. I have to do this or else I lose. Otherwise I would just let it hit so I could swing back for lethal, but not an option. Any removal spell there off the top and we would have won here. It's unfortunate. Uh, okay. Well, I think we go for it. I hope this is good enough. Ah, uh, then the board wipe. That's a bit unfortunate. Dog walker. They're going to be disappointed. That's a good draw. I'm going to do that. Uh, with the pump, I mean, more bodies is more chance for lethal. More blockers, more options. They now know I have the pump. Could just go like this. It's annoying, but fine. I'll do this to try and find removal. Case is okay, I guess. This is sorcery, right? Yeah. I think I want card advantage. Yeah, let's be patient for one turn. Uh, a 
That's like one of the worst cars they could have had for us. Now we're just dead to shock. Oh, that's concerning. Well, let's do this. Hmm. I mean, binding would be great. But I'll sell it for Phantom and not on my watch. No, like this. Witness instead of Phantom, I think. So many ways we lose this game. I don't feel safe at all at one. Okay. I'm dead to any number of cards like Dog Walker. Uh, I'm dead to uh, the Shady Informant. And even if I tap it down, I'm still dead to those things. So I think what I should do is play this out. Yeah, I'm like one mana short. Like if I could tap it down and then swing out, I win. But I'm one mana short. It's awful. Um, I think I have to swing out. I mean, if it's Dog Walker or Shady Informant or whatever, they they got me. They can they can flip it anyway and, and sack it to the Massacre Girl anyway if it's Shady Informant. So I can't play around that card. I'm dead to it anyway. So, let's just hope it's not that. It's the informant. Well, GG. <laughs> yeah, they would have been able to flip it and just sack it without even attacking in. I don't know if there was a way to win that. That was unfortunate. Kind of land screwed and then that one mana down made a difference at the end by not being able to do both. Uh, still a good deck. Had fun. Uh, Bant Detectives. Seemed okay. Not bad for a first draft. Uh, I guess we can look at the cards that I open. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you again next week for another draft.